It, it sort of came in waves of understanding. You know, we, I mean, from the time I was cast, uh, who is, well, the day I was cast, Who Is Clary was trending on Twitter. And before they even made the announcement. Um, and there were so many notifications and things once the announcement had come through that my phone wouldn't work for about 24 hours. Um, so that was kind of our first glimpse, I think, because there was so much buzz around it. But we didn't really see it in person until New York Comic Con at the end of that year. And even then, I still don't think I fully realized it in any sense, in any capacity that I can conceptualize. But we went to New York Comic Con, and it was the first time our panel was standing room only. It was the first time we got to hear the audience's reactions to the first seven minutes of the show and meet people who were already dressed as our characters, who were already coming to, to see us and, and excited to see the show. And it, um, it was very humbling, but it really blew our minds. Yeah, well, other than that New York Comic Con, my first convention was here in Paris uh, that summer, the following summer. And it was, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what it was going to be, but it was the most extraordinary experience I'd ever had, getting to meet people from all over the world and talk to folks and hear their stories. And it, it was, I, I'm just so grateful to have had these experiences. Oh goodness, there's so many. Um, you know, my favorite bits are, are not only getting to reconnect with the cast, but getting to watch so many people grow up. You know, so many of these, we have the same fans that come every year, a lot of them. We have so many new people that come in and getting to watch the fandom grow and getting to watch everyone kind of come together. Um, I'm not sure if it was after the finale had aired or right when we found out we were going to shoot it, but we were at one of the conventions when we knew the show had been canceled. And right at the end, after the closing ceremony, everyone had put together this video of different clips and different moments from the show, from the cons, from behind the scenes, and they surprised us with it at the closing ceremony, and all of us just sat at the bottom of the stage and just wept because it, it was this this segment of our lives that, you know, and all these people and these wonderful experiences we had that, you know, we were moving on to the next chapter, but this will always be a part of us. Now, I think what colors the the atmosphere of a convention is more the the attitude of the fandom and the spirit of the actors that are there. I think I've had so many amazing, positive, wonderful experiences and it's all because of how wonderful the Shadow Fam is and how much warmth and love and light there is just coursing through this entire community. We talk about this all the time as a cast. We are so floored and humbled by the fact that so many people still are discovering the show and still connected to the show and want to come back and see us every year and want to come back and continue to celebrate this community. Um, you know, yes, it's surprising, but it's it's the the most wonderful of surprises and something that I hope I hope can continue for several years. Hundred percent. Um, we'd had so many folks uh, since the show had been canceled that were asking us for a fourth season and asking us, you know, what can we do to keep the show alive? What can we do to keep getting more content? And then I was approached about creating a podcast. And they said, these producers said to me, they said, hey, you know, this Shadowhunters thing that you did, it seems to have a pretty strong fandom, right? It's like, oh, you have no idea. <laughs> um, and they said, you know, they asked me if I wanted to do a podcast. So I called up Dom because the way that we, you know, banter like an old married couple and 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 just the way that we we talk about the show it's such a fun energy I thought it would be just so much better if I had the two of us and of course he was willing to come on but yeah so much of it was because we wanted to give the fans a, some sort of season four if we you know if we couldn't give them a show we'd give them a podcast I like the panels I think just when I get to really talk to people and, and hear their stories and answer questions and you know being at the autograph table and getting to listen to people's stories or, or the small groups when people can really just sit down and talk, those are my favorite bits. We get a lot of like, what's your favorite scene or what's your favorite memory and I tend to tell the same ones over and over again but truth be told there's so many memories and so many moments that will always be so special.
<laughs> I don't actually know. Because we've, we've gotten asked so many questions. There's, and there's always a question that surprises us, which is what I love. There's always a new question. You know, every single year, someone will come up with something that kind of makes us go, I've never been asked that before. I really have to think now. Um, and that's, that's the joy of this. One I can never answer is what's my favorite character that I've played. I have never been able to answer that question just because I pour so much of who I am into my work. And each character leaves a little something with me. And I learn something from each character. And so I, I don't think I could ever pick a favorite. Nicola, because she's always very wise. Matt, because he's equal parts wise and hysterical. Uh, Dom, because we always have shenanigans. Harry, because I never get to do panels with him, and I love hearing what he has to say. He's always so thoughtful. And Will, because again, we don't get to do a lot of panels together, and uh, it'd be really nice. I like the fun stuff, but people always come up with new ideas. It's great. I remember one from my first year. They uh, someone had come with props for every character of Beauty and the Beast, and it was two fans. And they each they came one came dressed as Belle and one came dressed as the Beast, and they gave us props to be every one of the other characters. But they had pre-cast it, so they knew exactly who they wanted to be what, and I thought it was brilliant. I mean, for, oh goodness, I don't even know. I'd say so, I'd go to a Star Wars convention for sure. I'll just, yeah, just for lack of a better thought, I'll just say that. I would love to meet Mark Hamill. That would blow my mind. <laughs>